Transhumanism, from man to machine. How close are we to seeing technologically enhanced humans? What is transhumanism? There is a growing movement of people called transhumanists, who believe that humanity can and should augment our natural biological bodies with technology. In effect, they want to merge man and machine to create cyborgs. Ultimately, some of them believe it will be possible to one day upload an individual's consciousness, memories, and experience into a fully digital form and become immortal. Yes, you're right. That was an episode of Black Mirror. How close is it to reality? In some ways, it is already happening. Take the example of athletes in the Paralympics who run on carbon fiber blades instead of legs. As that technology improves, they will soon be able to run faster than any athlete with natural legs. At that point, many questions arise: Should they be allowed to compete against normal athletes? Would it be ethical for a normal athlete to voluntarily have their legs replaced by carbon fiber blades? That sounds like an exaggerated example, but is it really that different to the extremes of childhood training and performance-enhancing drugs that we know in high-level sport today? But that's a long way from digitizing ourselves. Yes, but numerous researchers are working on exactly that. Last August, a company called Neuralink successfully placed an implant inside the skull of a live pig. Wires from the implant are attached to the brain and send information on neural activity to a computer. The objective is to have two-way communication, allowing a person to control machinery with their thoughts, for instance, or combat neurological problems such as amnesia or paraplegia. Ultimately, said inventor Elon Musk, you could potentially download memories into a robot body. When will this happen? The most evangelical transhumanists believe the moment when humans and computers will achieve a sort of union will come around the year 2030. But this depends on huge advances in biotechnology happening, and others think it is decades from being possible. What seems probable, however, is that this century will see an increasing divide between biologically normal humans and those who are in some way technologically augmented. The social implications of that divide are enormous.